hello everyone welcome back to my channel danny here from second chance love you're about to see my goodwill hawaii trip haul and shop with me session just as an fyi it's a very short video but i do hope that you enjoy it hawaii has goodwills and other thrift stores but there weren't that many where we were staying at and we also had to keep in consideration that we had just taken a uh carry-on bag and we actually ended up having to purchase a thrifted um bag you know suitcase for coming back home that had to be checked in because we brought back so many other goodies so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to stay tuned i have a lot a lot a lot of videos coming out i have definitely a lot of more spooky finds a lot of raid on hunting i have a lot of thrift sessions that i'm going to be releasing out soon and some estate soul finds as well and other um, fun videos that i have planned that are coming out within the next few weeks so make sure to stay tuned for that again i am on the road for my 1000 subscriber and i am almost there so thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and i do have my 900 giveaway that will be coming out soon this week actually so don't make sure um make sure not to miss out on that video because it's going to be released out this week it'll be my last video from my hawaii trip and it will be a ray done hunting session that we did out there so i have a haul and of course my giveaway announcement too do before I reach a thousand because I'm going to be also doing another giveaway once I reach a thousand subscribers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in on the fun for today. Hey guys, so you know that it would not be second chance love if we at least did not stop by a few Goodwill stores here in the state of Hawaii. So we are here at our very first store and I'm very, 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 very excited. So I'm gonna bring you along as I shop around and see what we find here at Goodwill in Hawaii. And it's very loud out here. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are new, I welcome you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos and make sure you like this video. Let's go ahead and check out what we can find here at our local Goodwill store. So starting off, you guys, right here, Ray Dunn. So I found this Ray Dunn ceramic bowl. It says crunchy. I thought it was really cute, but again, I had to be very selective bringing back stuff home. And I actually saw this, you guys, outside the window when we were parking outside of the goodwill store and i'm like i was telling joe oh my god i have to run in there now of course it is missing the lid but i mean how many times can you run into one of the icon pieces so this is from the icon pieces like hello no brainer and these were really cute it was a lot of chickens i think they might have been maybe from a specific store i was thinking target but i really don't think they were from Target and I came across some anthropology pieces so these are the monogram letters I have a bunch of these back home so I again had to be very choosy with what I brought home and I came across these really cute owls they're so pretty in the blue and the gold and I feel like I have seen them somewhere before but I just couldn't make out from where they were at these were candle pillars i thought they were absolutely gorgeous i love the colors they're very neutral and i thought that they would be so pretty but again have to be very choosy and slots anyone it's so funny this was such a cool little thing i think it was a toy or a novelty or something like that and of course i had to bring back a reusable tote to commemorate my goodwill trip in hawaii so Goodwill Hawaii is basically the same thing like back home. They have their own color system where each week is a different color and it's 50% off. Um, pretty much the same thing. They do have some, you know, uh, cloth clothing is like set at a certain prices and they have home stuff and shoes and bags and just, you know, the normal stuff you find always at a, a thrift store. Um, I kind of noticed though, like this specific store didn't have anything holiday. It didn't have any holiday items. It didn't really have a lot of knickknacks and stuff like that, that I'm used to finding a lot. Um, but it's always nice, you know, seeing the experience from a different store, a different state. First of all, we're in Hawaii. 
So it's really cool that we get to have these different experiences that we get to have when we travel because that, you know, now that we're doing thrifting more, we get to get a feel of how it is depending on where we're at. So we've thrifted in California, but that includes like San Diego, San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles, Orange County. Um, we've also done uh, thrifting in Texas. We've done thrifting in Arizona a lot. And now we're gonna add Hawaii to that. And I believe my hubby has done a lot more thrifting because he travels out to different places. But it's really fun that we get to do this and get like a different feel of how it is out here. So heading now into the next Goodwill store. This was another one of our stops. Again, we didn't have a lot of time to actually check out a lot of the Goodwill stores because we were close to the last day and we still had a lot of other things to do. But I did come across some really cute knickknacks. Like this statue right here is so pretty. And this piece like dish tray was very, very pretty as well. I liked it a lot, but at $2.99 for each letter, I didn't think it was going to be a good choice. I also saw this really cute doggy canister for Christmas. Everything that I see that's dog related reminds me of my golden retriever Bala, which I was missing a lot during our Hawaii trip. And I also came across some really cute Christmas pieces, but again, the stores were very, very empty. So there wasn't so much to pick from, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if it was the case just in this store but they did not have a lot of things out so it was a little bit difficult um you know checking through everything that i thought i would want to bring but then i figured is it really a good idea because i only had a check-in bag at the time and they also get a lot of target items you guys as i've told you before here in orange county we get a lot of target items in our goodwills so it's interesting seeing all those items as well in goodwill stores out in hawaii so it almost wraps up um the shop with me session so make sure to stay tuned for the haul that you guys enjoyed that shop with me session this is probably going to be my all-time shortest haul ever you guys know that it's very difficult for me to just walk out of the goodwill store with just the one item usually usually i buy more than two or three depending if they're really good finds but this is going to be again the very the most shortest <laughs> thrift session ever so again a lot of factors played into this trip um we only had uh, carry-on bags joe and i had one each and then we had we ended up having to buy a suitcase a roll-on suitcase at a salvation army store that we also went to which was actually where i saw that radon plate which i left behind because it did have some crazing and cracks so there's just no point in me bringing it home and we needed that extra suitcase because we found a lot of goodies while we were radon hunting so stay tuned for that video as well so it I guess kind of favored in my way that I didn't find a lot of things, you know, while thrifting because then I would have had to make some really tough choices if I found some really good stuff. Another factor was is that unfortunately time, time was not um, at the best since we were rushing. It was the last day and we still had other things we were going to do before leaving the next day. And then three, the stores were sort of far out for us. So we didn't have a lot of time with the time that we were given to go out thrifting to go to several other stores in the area so we had to you know pick the best ones that were closest to us and we went to two goodwill stores and one salvation army and another eco thrift store which they actually have them here in california as well so that was cool to see so that was the goodwill shop with me session in hawaii i really wish that i could have gone to more thrift stores because you just never know what you're going to find so if you guys haven't guessed it already my one and only item was the ray dunn icon canister so this is the only item that made it back home with me from goodwill and yes it does not have a lid the price for this was four dollars and 99 cents there's the goodwill sticker purple tag and it says mix at the front and it has the I think these are called whisks or the beater hand beater 
and I just thought this was absolutely so adorable. It is an older piece. There's no number at the bottom. But again, it is missing the lid. But I figured, you know what? The Icon collection, you never see anymore. They don't reproduce it. So it's technically an, a retired piece. And I know a lot of you don't pick up canisters if they don't have lids. But I have came up with good solutions as to what to use with them with no lids. I know a lot of you have also given me solutions in the comments below what to do with a canister if it doesn't have a lid and whether or not you guys would purchase it. So I thought, you know what, it's an icon piece. I'm collecting pieces from the icon collection. I feel that it goes very well with my farmhouse look or farmhouse collection. So I'm like, you know what, I'm taking it even though it's not it's not complete, it's missing the lid. And again, you guys can't find these and these go for so much money. Reselling, resell value, they are in the hundreds, um, depending on what it is. I think the mugs are usually a little bit cheaper, but a lot of stuff from that collection is very expensive. So that was the only item that made it home with me that was thrifted, but make sure to stay tuned because I have a lot more items to show and I'm very excited because I'm going to be announcing my 900 subscriber giveaway that I will be doing. So make sure to stay tuned for that, you guys. I appreciate all of you for coming in for today's video. Make sure to let me know in the comments below, would you buy this canister if you would see it in the thrift store? I know a few of you have told me, but considering that it is from the Icon collection, does that change your answer? So let me know in the comments below, would it make it home with you or would it not? And as always, I would love and appreciate for you guys to hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate you and would love to welcome you to the Second Chance Love family here. And by the way, you guys, I'm sorry that I look like a hot mess. I've literally been hunting, radon hunting so much the last few days that I really have let go of myself as far as grooming, okay? Let's not get to nasty i am showering okay so don't even think that i just i'm letting myself go like i haven't shaved i haven't trimmed my beard i need another haircut and it's just like all of that stuff is going out the door right now because i am fully 100 percent focused on a radon hunting and also hunting for johanna parker at ross so if you don't know already johanna parker has hit up ross and you best believe that there will be a haul coming up soon, you guys. So make sure to stay tuned. I have a lot of spooky fun coming your way. So until next time, this is Dan here from Second Chance Love. Wishing you guys a wonderful week. Mwah. Until next time. Bye, everyone.